Hello, everybody. Welcome to Himalong. <laughs> I'm very excited to be here. I hope that you are too. Let's get into our first hymn. That is going to be hymn 154, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. To open today's episode, reminiscing on the cross, Jesus' love. And we are all welcome into that family because of that sacrifice. Welcome to our guests. <laughs> welcome to the hosts. Uh, Bronwyn, you chose this hymn. Why did you choose this hymn? I think all of us have to realize that if it wasn't for the sacrifice that Christ made at Calvary, where would we be? Mm. So it is important, I think, to time and again remind yourself of the cross and the price that was paid there for us. Definitely. Amen. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's so beautiful to have family of each other. Not of <laughs> no <longer>. um, we <laughs> Alvina and Brahman are sisters, and we're really happy to have you with us today. Alvina. Hello. Hello, Lisa. I keep saying hello to you <laughs> because I mean I spoke I probably spoke to you like very many years ago last. True. Um Alvina and I uh, know we're not talking about age because <laughs> Samantha <laughs> is waiting. Okay. So Alvina, it's yes. so good to see you. For those of our viewers who don't yes. know you, please would you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Alvina. Um I come from Steenburg Church. I have a family of five, uh, my husband and myself and three daughters. Beautiful. Mm. Three daughters, your riches. Mm. Um, so you chose the next hymn and we were um, in the rehearsal earlier talking about the fact that this hymn is sung at funerals and that why don't we sing it more often when it's not a funeral? 
Why did you choose What a Friend We Have in Jesus? To do the, the we shouldn't just sing it at funerals. Mm. We should make it real because it's what a friend we have. Mm. So whatever we're going through at the moment, he is our friend. He can hear our cries. He can hear what we're going through. He knows it. But he wants us to be his friend. He wants us to talk mm. to him. Oh, beautiful. Mm. What a friend we have in Jesus. I'm also struck that this is a very common hymn. Um, people from all over know what a friend we have in Jesus. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why we use it at funerals too, mm-hmm. you know, because we know everybody will be able to sing along. But it's not a funeral today. <laughs> we are so privileged and so happy that along with Alvina, we get to sing hymn number, Nolan. 499. Wow, beautiful. Well done. <laughs> hymn number 499. What a friend we have in Jesus. the solace while we're alive, right? <laughs> Thank you for that, Alvina. Bronwyn. Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into the hymn, do you want to just let our audience know a little bit about who you are? We know you are the sister now. Yes, I am the younger sister. <laughs> let's emphasize, let's emphasize. <laughs> I'm the younger sister. Uh, my name is Bronwyn. I'm also from Steenburg Church and I am the mother to four beautiful daughters. Oh, nice. Gorgeous. Okay. Thank you. And then you chose the hymn, What a Wonderful Savior. Yes. We've just come from a friend and mm. now we're referring to him as a wonderful savior. Because that is what he is. Mm. No. Um, <laughs> Not only is he our savior, but the way that he has gone about pursuing us and, and never giving up on us. There's no other word to call him other than a wonderful savior. Mm. A wonderful savior. That is in 335, sing with us, what a wonderful savior. Sin atonement made what a wonderful 
We run out of expressions to call our Savior. And uh, the, the, it's beautiful to know that there have been words put to the feelings that we feel and the expressions that we, that, that we experience about our Savior. And I think if we genuinely connect with him and we, and, and we understand what he's done for us, we can't help but praise him. And we also, there's a safety in knowing that we are his, that we are his child, that he is our savior. And that we, we actually realize that he does love us. I think it's, it's different when we kind of say that we love him. Um, or we have this kind of general knowledge that we love him or he loves us. But when you understand it and you understand him and you have a relationship with him, you feel that love. And it's so, it's so exciting. Uh, <laughs> it's very exciting. And with that same excitement, you want to praise Jesus. And that is very much our next theme, which is to God be the glory. Amen. So that's theme 341. But Bronnie, why did you choose this one? Not only because of who he is, yeah. but because of the things that he has done. And I think none of us that are sitting here today can ever look back over our lives and say, God hasn't yeah. been faithful. Yep. God hasn't done great things. God hasn't come through when you never expected him to do, yeah. to come through or when you felt it, there was no way out you. I'm between a rock and a hard place. Mm. He has been faithful and yeah. he has delivered. He has come through. He is a faithful God. Mm. He will keep on coming through oh absolutely to, to the end of time absolutely. his word is full of promises we, there's so many hymns that are an encouragement and a reminder of his character yes. his faithfulness everything that he has promised in his word brought to music oh, in a beautiful way so that we can praise together singing to god be the glory great things he has done hymn 341 the glory great things he had done so
truly believes that moment from Jesus her pardon receives. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people Yes, there's only one Cape Town word that works here. <laughs> Lekka. Oh, that was so good. Just just sing praise. Mm. Just just praise. Mm. Um, we are really and truly blessed. So, um, Alvina, I believe you chose the next hymn. But before I believe, I have to ask Nolan. Oh Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that time? Just hang on. <laughs> Do you know the sim? I struggle with the sim. It's that time. <laughs> <laughs> you you know, no? Mm, no, Lon, he actually doesn't want to tell you that he didn't know. He <laughs> <laughs> did it? So, 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 Alvina... 310 i'm trying to like am i not it's my number okay yes. because nolan's is, is up for my job here or I yours um so alvina you chose him 310 why did you choose it because despite whatever we are praising god despite that we are going through things mm. we're going through journeys and trials but that whatever it is we still draw nearer to jesus mm. and that he will carry us and comfort us how beautiful is that? Yes, you know, th this world that we're living in is not a joke. It's not easy. Drawing nearer to Jesus somehow just has comfort. It brings comfort to me. Thank you for suggesting this hymn. And yes, it is in our rarely sung or unknown hymns because Nolan didn't know it. <laughs> um, but we're here now. <laughs> And we're going to sing this hymn together. I think we can just sing whatever you... It's a beautiful tune. You'll pick it up very easy. Let's sing together hymn number 310, I Will Draw Nearer to Jesus. Jesus, not 
Like you said, this world is not easy. It feels more and more like we need him. Uh, for somehow, <laughs> we, we've heard sermons, so many sermons saying, you know, it's going to get difficult. The end is coming. Um, and for most of my life, I, again, it's like we know the knowledge, but feeling it and, 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 and experiencing the realness of it is a little bit different as time moves on. And... I definitely can see the end is approaching. If anything, the prayer is that we genuinely will draw nearer to Jesus. Um, the prayer, speaking of the prayer, <laughs> I need the prayers of those I love. Sometimes we don't have the words to pray. And the prayers of others is what actually gives us the strength and the motivation to pull through. Alvina, is that your experience in choosing him 505? Yes, definitely, because you can't go through things and and not need encouragement. Mm. You need to be there for the next person. You need there to be the, the, the stretcher bearer for your fellow Christian, for your neighbor, for whoever, yeah. for your work colleague. You need to be there for them. So just so we need prayers to encourage the next person. Amen. Him 500... And five, I need the prayers of those I love. Please sing with us. I need the prayers of those I love While traveling o'er life's rugged way That 
is such a fitting way to remind everybody that as we journey on, let's pray for one another. Mm. Yeah, Absolutely. thank you for that, Alvina. Um, Edson, it's that yes, time. <laughs> Are we there already? Yes. Oh, my. <laughs> we have come to the end of today's episode. And thank you very much, Alvina, for being here. Thank you very much, younger sister Bronwyn, for being <laughs> here. <laughs> thank you for having me. Edson, it's been great having you here. Awesome, thanks. Samantha and Lisa, we will do it again. We shall. Yes. Next week. <laughs> and, and I suppose that's why we can use the hymn that we're going to be hymning mm -hmm. right now. <laughs> it says, God be with you till we meet again. Mm. And because we're kind of mid-season somewhere, we'll meet again next week. Yeah. Yep. We will meet again next week and may God be with you. Don't let him confuse you. No? What because did I he say? Said, God be with you till we meet, meet again. again. That's our other hymn. <laughs> but the sentiment is the same. <laughs> but Lisa is correct. <laughs> we will sing him 673. <laughs> may God be with you. Please sing with us. <laughs> Oh,